presentation of Global Finance Mauritius which promotes the island as a financial platform for investors to come in Mauritius and contribute to the rising of Africa. Today we have Yusuf Ismail who is the CEO of Global Finance. Welcome Yusuf to our business show. Can you please tell us more about you, your background? Thank you Florence for having me on the show, it's a pleasure. I am an economist by training. I work in many sectors of the economy, uh, overseas and also in Mauritius. So I decided to come home after a long spell overseas. So I work as the chief economist at BEI, which is a big company, spend some time at Saint-Dobain, work for the FAO. Um, and I know the industry very well, the financial industry. So I'm here to, to make a difference, uh, first of all, to my country, but also to Global Finance Mauritius as well. So Yusuf, tell us what Global Finance consists of. Well, Global Finance Mauritius is an initiative by the private sector. So all, all our stakeholders have uh, put all the energy together. Uh, first of all, to create more synergy in the industry, um, because we have to work in this industry as one, one entity, uh, putting the client first. Our ob objective is very clear, we want to emerge this as a centre uh, for financial industry, as a platform, uh, a platform for, for excellence, where we want all the investors to come here uh, to really do business in Mauritius uh, and make it a success as an international platform for finance. Uh, with that, uh, one of the first actions we're trying to do is to create more synergy in the industry because we realize that Mauritius has known for a destination, has been very successful as a destination for finance. We know that Mauritius has been very successful in terms of promoting uh, investment into India. Uh, and we are back now again, the good news is we're back now again in terms of the first uh, country to bring more FDI in, uh, in India. That was announced uh, last week. But also uh, to make Mauritius known, not, not just as a, a destination for investment, but also to put the, uh, the client at the center of our business. So a client will come to Mauritius, he needs uh, to raise money from stock exchange, he wants to have an investment uh, portfolio managed by someone, he will need banks, he will need insurance, he will need management companies, he will need accountants, he will need lawyers. So all of us at some point has to work together in the industry to make us a successful platform. But also most important for us to do is to be able to go up in the value chain. Uh, we realize that compete in the world. You know, we cannot be picking up the fruits which is hanging low on, on the tree. So we have to, to, to go up. We've been very successful so far, last, like I said to you. Uh, more FDI is going into India. Our financial servicing is growing, going quite fast. We are now, uh, our GDP consists of 13% of uh, contribution come from the financial services. And I believe it's the, the, this sector which has more scope in terms of growth in the economy. So if you want to make the country uh, a high income nation. There are certain pillars of the economy which will help us achieve that and I believe that the financial services is one of them. We'll, we'll, it's one of the sector that has a lot more scope and more challenges and we need to address that. But above that uh, it's also important to realize that Africa is uh, our, our neighbor. Uh, Africa is developing very fast and we should be part of that development. So we really want to assist Africa in a way uh, to grow fast by having more investment. There's a lot of projects going, going out there and we are part of Africa. We should uh, you know, be part of this rising of Africa. How long do you think this process will take to, um, to attract and to make Mauritius very competitive compared to other countries which are already uh, attracting investors? We are, we are already competitive in terms of, of fees and so on and so forth. But one thing that is important to, to Mauritius is not just the double taxation agreement which we have in over 30 countries uh, in the world, including India and in Africa. But we have something which is quite unique in terms of our, our investment promotion protection. So an investor wants to come to Mauritius, the first thing he wants to know is are they protected or not? And I can say that they are protected. Uh, in many ways, the investment promotion uh, uh, is something that protects our investors. Secondly, uh, our legal uh, sector is very strong. Uh, we have a Supreme Court which is there, which is very, very uh, recognized in the world. And above that, we would still have the private counsel. So in terms of jurisdiction, uh, we have all the framework that will make it a, a success. It is a, a really good platform where we started uh, to succeed. But, you know, to stay competitive, like I mentioned, I think it's important to, for us now to relook at the industry, uh, going up in the value chain, of course. Uh, 
uh, will require uh, a lot more uh, things to do. And one of the things that we need to do is, is uh, first of all, to build capacity. Uh, capa capacity in terms of people, because uh, as you probably know, uh, Africa will need a uh, lot more uh, people uh, to work in the financial services, even in Mauritius. We're talking about more accountants. Africa now will need something like 20,000 accountants as we speak. But we require about 90,000 more accountants in the next, next five years. We'll have more products uh, designed for people, in, you know, for our investors. So all this will require more skill in terms of analysts, in terms of uh, accountants, in terms of corporate lawyers, com com company lawyers. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of things are required for us to do that. And, and here comes the role of global finance again, where we really want to, to, to build capacity uh, in terms of expertise, in terms of skill, uh, so that we, we can actually go up the, the value chain. And this is something we're working strongly uh, with, the, with the industry stakeholders, including the universities, uh, locally and trying to work with overseas university, for us to have the skill to be able to achieve our, our target. All the stakeholders um, believe in this vision, our board believe in this vision, our country believe in this vision, and I'm sure that we'll, we will achieve it. I have no doubt about this. Thank you very much, Yusuf, and uh, we wish you the best for global finance and uh, the future. Thank you, Florence, for having me on the show. We look forward to seeing you sometime soon.